Okay, dear friends, I'm back today. I'm going to penetrate the machine on the one hub, which is matrix breakout to two morphers. Just、um, yeah, I mentioned in the other video. If you can follow along my channel, yeah, I always said I like the one hub very much in terms of speed. Because the talking machine and the attacking machine, like Kinetic Linux, will be in the same lab locally, so the speed will be very good. Before we start today's journey, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You are greatly appreciated. So, without further ado, let's just get it started. Yeah, in this, yeah, I think a variety of techniques can be practiced with this machine. For example, like a directory emulation with GoBuster, and also, yeah, image analysis. For example, can display some hidden message if the picture has, and also the local file inclusion, yeah, vulnerabilities and exploitation. And also the Weebly, you know, Weebly can help us to generate the the web shell, the backdoor PHP file, and also can be used for the access that backdoor. And also, yeah, we will use the MSF vellum to generate the payload, and also, yeah, we will use the Metasprite console. Very very good. Penetration tool or environment. Finally, I'd like to show you how to do the local privilege escalation. Okay, so now we can go into the Kali Linux. Yeah, I've already imported the machine into the VMware. I think the this target machine would be, yeah, would be better if we import the machine into the VMware rather than virtual box. Yeah, from my Experience, and、uh, so the first thing we can do is to use the net discover to discover the IP address of the target, right? Yeah, the IP address of, of will be this one two two one. So now we can use the a map, and of course to save time on the video, I have already done the a map scanning earlier. Just the the IP address would be different. We can cut out the result of the map. Yeah, earlier the target IP address is two hundred and twenty. As you can see here, from here, I use the options like sync scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also use the option of the dash p dash to do to do the. For range port scan, so from the map scanning results, we can see the three open ports on the target. The first one is twenty two, which is running SSH surface, and also the version information. Right, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And the, the second one is eighty, which is running HTTP surface. And also the version information, which is Apache two. So the last one is eighty one, which is also running HTTP, and also the version information. Yeah, the the application or software is different, which is Nginx. So what we are going to do next also can know with that.、Um, yeah, maybe we need to be yeah provide the username and password to be authorized. So later we can check it manually. So what we are going to do next is to do emulation for the web application. The first one, the first port port number is eighty. Let's open up the browser and put the IP address of the target. Yeah, we got、uh, yeah simple text. Yeah, welcome to this one, and you play. Blah blah, trying to investigate a computer has locked everyone else out of at least for SSH. Good luck. And this one, 
So this picture, the first thing we need to do, yeah, we when we got the page back from the target, yeah, we need to check the source code of this page. But nothing's interesting here. And now we can close down. And also we can save the picture to the Kali Linux. Yeah, we can navigate to the our working directory, which is this one. And we can save. So, so next, we can use the tools like a stack hat to see whether this picture has some hidden message. But we need to provide pass a phrase. So next, we can use a stack seek. And uh, let's press enter. However, couldn't find a valid pass a phrase. And then we can use EXIF2, which can review the EXIF, in other words, the metadata of the picture and the Trinity. But nothing interesting here. So I think, uh, yeah, we cannot find anything special from the picture itself. And what can we do now? Yeah, we need to check whether this site has a robot file. We can use the Q command rather than the Browser robots, but uh, yeah, there's no white rabbit here. Keep searching, all right? Yeah, we will do that, no problem. So next, we can use the Ligato to do some immersion. You know, Ligato can review some information about the application itself. Yeah, also. But I think, oh, sorry, I put the wrong IP address of the target. Yeah, also like the the header information allowed methods. Yeah, you know, some for some machine will allow the dangerous methods like a put. Of course, if that's the case, we can utilize this method to to malicious action to the target, right? But here. I think we cannot find anything like that. And at the same time, we can manually check the another port number, which is 81. Yeah, we need to provide the username and password. For example, we can try to use admin and admin sign in. However, it's not working. And also we can use the username, password is password. So yeah, we are we failed to to, to, to get it in. I think the port, this port number, I mean the 81, cannot give us any useful yeah, information. Maybe, yeah, we need to be, we need to stop here. Now we can go back to the 80 port number. Yeah, Nikto has finished. So I think now we can use the GoBuster to do some directory brute forcing. And the word list, as always, I'd like to use the debuster directory admin. And the extension options, I'd like to specify the PHP, HTML, back, TXT, JS. And um, I think it's enough. Okay. Yeah, the JavaScript is very default. In most cases, this yeah, directory cannot give us any, yeah, useful points. Yeah, we got the two files, the graffiti txt. Yeah, I'm not sure what this means. However, I think these two files has some collection because the file name are the same, except the extension is different. So now we can access these two files, right? We can copy. And we go to the browser. Maybe I can close down the 81. Yeah, put the number and we can. TXT. Yeah, mouse here. Welcome to the lobby. And make sure not to tell Morphers about this graffiti wall. It's just here to let us blow off. Blow off some steam. 
Hmm. To be honest, when I did the machine the first time, I cannot get any meaning from this text. And、uh, also, you you can check the source code of this page, but nothing here. Next, we need to check another file with the same file name, right? PHP extension is different. So yeah, this one has one title. If you compare, yeah, these two files, yeah, welcome mouse here. So the text, ah,、uh, just you can see is is the same as this one. So maybe you know also here we can enter message. So maybe from yeah, we can deduce that maybe there's some file inclusion, um. Function, uh, done by the target, right? For example, we can put the any message. For example, like a JSON one, and a post. So it looks like this this text content is we yeah this I think this file graffiti PHP. What this file do is to read out this text file graffiti dot txt. And append and use the message what we input to append to this text file, right? So I think now, just、um, just I mentioned, maybe this page has the local file inclusion vulnerability, right? So how to analyze? So this is where the bub suite comes into play. We can, of course, we can set the proxy to bub, so that all traffic request and response will go through this proxy of a bub suite. Then we can launch our bub suite. And this edition is community one, which doesn't matter. We can click next. And start up the bubble suite, and、uh, make sure the proxy has been enabled, and we can put the message like JSON, and、uh, post. Yeah, we got the request. So from here we can know. Yeah, yeah, this parameter has parameter file, and just、uh, we deduce earlier. This this is the. The value or the file name will be read or retrieved and then displayed over here. So maybe we can try whether we can access. We can send the this request to repeater module, and we can, for example, try to to access the password file. Send cannot open this file. Although, yeah, we got the error cannot open. Yeah, this file. However, also the error itself can confirm. There's some. There's there is some local file inclusion vulnerability. So maybe we need to bypass some. Yeah, or we need to use some wrapper, and this wrapper is very popular one. If we if we couple with the LFI vulnerability, the local file inclusion vulnerability, and now we go back to my host. You know, yeah, I've already open, I've already open up this website, so we need to use some sort of this wrapper. You know, for PHP has different wrapper, but、uh, I'd like to use this one. This one we as pen test pen tester. If the target is PHP, and I think this one is very very important technique for us, as a pen tester, we just copy、uh, this wrapper and go back to our kernel Linux. So now we can put in here, and we try to read the file graffiti gora fifty PHP. Sent as you can see, we got the 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 content back. For some case, we 
we do not need to, to put the extension. However, in this case, for this machine, we, we need to, to add the extension. Otherwise, we cannot retrieve the content. You can test it if you wish. So we got the content back. Uh, of course, this content is encoded in base 64. We can copy this content and go back to go to the separate chef and put it in here. And then, yeah, we got the output. So from here, we can, yeah, you can walk through or review this PHP code. Yeah, this file valuable. And uh, we'll, yeah, this valuable, the file name is graffiti.txt. If the server, the method is a post, and uh, if the post has, yeah, include the file parameter, and then the file should be this one. So maybe we can, we can change the file name here, all right? So not rather than the graffiti default one, default file name. And then if the message is not uh, empty, and then we can open, yeah, this is the handler, and the mode is the append. And then we can write the message, yeah, into this handler. So I think I know how to do next. Yeah, it's very clear, uh, but we need to first generate the malicious or backdoor PHP, and this PHP code will be serving as the message data, right? How to do it? Of course, you can yeah, use Google search engine to, to get such a code. However, the, the inbuilt to Weavely can do it for us. No problem. Weavely and generate and uh, followed by the the password for example like uh, json this is my password and the name is backdoor php yeah no problem so now we can cut out this backdoor and we can copy yeah this would be message data we can copy and let me show you now we can go back to this PHP and maybe I need to forward first. All right. I, I make sure the proxy has been enabled to the bub, and then we can put the content of the backdoor PHP file and then we can post. Of course, we can change the file name to the anything like uh, the original file name like a backdoor php and uh, forward this request and this message has been yeah url encoded automatically by the bub and we can forward so now we go back go back to our terminal and use the Weebly to access this Backdoor. Backdoor. PHP. And we need to yeah, specify the password at the same time. As you can see, we got the web shell. I think no problem. Unable to... Oh, sorry. I mistyped the IP address of the target. Let's run it again. As you can see, we can execute command. So, of course, we can make some local emulation. Cipher. Cipher. Yeah, permission denied. Three, Trinity. Yeah, nothing special here. And also, we can check the version of kernel. So I think now next, I'd like to yeah demonstrate another very important technique is to use the the metaplotter 
to 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 make immigration even can, yeah, make local privilege escalation. First, we need to generate the metaprater payload, and we can open up another tab. Yeah, this one is also very important technique. So the two would be MS Vellum. Yeah, of course, the MS Vellum supports a lot of different payloads. And if you are not sure what uh, payload to use, you can use this command. Because the texture, the target is Linux, and you can use the grip to filter. Yeah, well, I just want to, or I, I'd like to use the metapreter payload. So this one will land down the scope of the payloads, and then you you can choose uh, the 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 appropriate payload. So even we do not need to use the Google to to to. To look for some help, right? The the command itself can give us the help information. For example, here we can use the nin the this one, the metaprater. Yeah, maybe this one. Not HTTP. Yeah, this one is what we are looking for. So we now can use MS Vellum. Yeah, maybe I can auto complete the command, and this is the local host IP address or the Kali Linux and the port number, and this is the format. Yeah, the format for the Linux would be elf, and、uh, we can escalate. Let's press enter. All right, it's done. We can list the files, and、uh, yeah, the payload has been successfully created. Next, we need to upload this one. Yeah, this payload to the target. So how to upload? We can use the Python to upload to set up the web server. Now we can go back to yeah the target shell. We can navigate to temp directory because. Yeah, we have full permissions in this directory. The port number and escalate, escalate, e l f. Yeah, no problem. Now we can make it executable, and we can run this payload. But before we press enter, we need to set up the handler first. We can launch the MS console with quiet mode, the Q option. Then we can use the handler module, multi handler, and we need to set the payload. Yeah, this payload should be the same as this one. Yeah, just we, yeah, what we. Create the create the payload, yeah. So we just paste in here. Then we can show options. We can set the local host to our Kali Linux, and set local port number to five five five. Yeah, the same as the the port number when we create the payload. And I think I've already configured all required fields. Now we just run. Yeah, the reverse handler has been started. Now we can run this payload. Yeah, it's a sending stage to the target. Yeah, the metaprater session one opened. Now we can background by Control Z background this session, and we can search the suggester module. You know this module can yeah maybe I can. Select and run it, and、uh, later I can explain this module. And we can show options. Set the session. I think only one field we need to specify is a session. At this moment, there is just only one session. Now we can run. 
Yeah, this module, the suggest module, will go through all lo possible local exploits, which al allow us to elevate our privilege. Yeah, you know, this module is very, very useful for the privilege escalation. As you can see, yeah, it's collecting local exploits uh, for the target. Yeah, made sprite. Um, yeah, I like it very, very, very much. Yeah, we do not need to, for example, use the like Nimpia share script to find appropriate yeah, exploit. The made sprite suggest module can uh, do this job for us automatically. I think uh, the this module has already identified the one vulnerability. Yeah, this one. So yeah, we just wait for this to be finished over. Yeah, the red part we do not need to to take a look at. I think this one we can try the first one. If this one doesn't work, and then we can select other one. We can use and paste the module, and then we can show options again. Similarly, we can set the local heart to our kind Linux. And set, of course, we need to set a different portal number like 666. And also, we need to set a session number to one. And then we can run this module. Yeah, appears to be a vulnerable sending stage. It looks like it's working. Wonderful, right? So, Metaprot session two opened. We can get the shell session. We can Run the ID, as you can see, we are loot user. Now, then we can navigate to loot directory, and then we can get flag, loot, loot flag without any issue. So that's pretty much it. I hope, I hope you can enjoy from this video, and i like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a good day.